Craig Adams here from winningfilmschool.com, and I did this. I got this camera. This is the thing that I got, nouns, and it does things like verbs, and sometimes adjectives are involved, but I'm not sure how. So I recently purchased and switched from Canon to the A7S Mark II, and uh, yesterday was the first day that I got to try it out. And I already have some ideas and a lot of questions, so let's just go through my first impressions. First up, I bought the camera with the battery grip, and I got the Sony one. And honestly, I tried both, and I kinda like not having the battery grip, which is a little crazy. As far as like actually holding it and like using it, I kinda like the small form factor. I like this. This feels better. And honestly, the step to mirrorless is just, I want things to be smaller and easier and quicker and lighter. I wanna switch from Canon glass to Sony glass so that it's smaller, lighter, and easier. And I can use autofocus, that's also a big part of it. I like just this, I don't want the battery grip and the extra weight, I can make this work. So I'll probably just use this for most things. And also when you put the, the base plate on the bottom of the camera, it is more stable like from tilting forward or back than if you have, you know, the base plate on the bottom of this. So I'm not used to this viewfinder and I tested it in the super bright daylight today and it wasn't as good as I expected it to be. You know, like the, I couldn't, I was like, what is that? But it's better than the screen. So I'll give it that. So it came with this strap and I never, I've never used straps before. <laughs> while shooting. I think they get in the way and it's definitely more of like a photography kind of thing. I tried it with it on and I'm like, meh, fuck it. So I got rid of it and my life is back to normal and good. You know, I just, I, I love this screen. This screen is so amazing. I just hold this directly to my body like this and look down. I'm not looking at the subject. So it's like almost even more like they don't know that I'm shooting them which is kind of good for on the street kind of stuff. So let's just talk about the screen real quick. The quality of this is so much better than the 16 5D Mark III. Like, ugh. after you shoot something and then you like play it back on the screen, you're like, ooh. Having the screen that can do that just makes the world of a difference. Like, there were points when it was on my tripod and I was like getting ready to like do my normal like back breaking move to like see the screen, but then I'm like, all right, I can just stay standing and be a filmmaker. As you can see from my Facebook posts, I'm selling all of my Canon glass and I'm going to get rid of this adapter. I would like the G Master series, but I'm fine. I'm gonna get the 50 and the work from there. I would love to get down to three lenses, uh, a wide zoom, a 50 prime, and then like a 70 to 200. I think I would be good. So while riding the subway, you have plenty of time to play with the camera. I went through the menu meticulously and remapped the buttons to my liking. You know, I switched pretty much all the, you know, the custom map buttons, refixed my function and did all of the assigning and whatnot. Um, all that information will be coming in a full review of the camera, but I'm just giving my first impressions right now. I have no idea how to work the one, two custom modes. It's like different than Canon's. I'm shooting on the movie mode, which I think I'm supposed to be on the manual mode, but I don't know. We'll figure that out. So the 4K image quality of this camera is fucking awesome. Just the the, the tones for the, sh the darks and the shadows is amazing. The dynamic range is way more, the sharpness, like I can actually shoot outdoors with a wide lens and not have it look like complete garbage and people could be complaining about skin tones and stuff just because they heard somewhere else that skin tones were not good with Sony but honestly you the more you use this the more you you stop and think about color picture profiles gamma everything that goes into shooting flat and then figuring out how you want your image to look afterwards so the color is good Another big question that everyone seems to bring up is like the 1600 ISO native setting for shooting S-Log3. I've tried a couple different profiles and honestly, I don't see myself shooting S-Log3 for most run and gun stuff. Um, I can shoot in whatever ISO, 
with the picture profile that I'm using that I like and uh, I'll probably use S-Log for like slower things but at that point you know if I need an ND filter I'll have the time and energy to do so. Oh holy crap when you turn this camera on with the steady shot inside thing uh, like setting on it like kicks in like a motor it's like it's like and then it's like ah the steady shot is amazing i was hand holding with a 50 all day yesterday and the shots are like butter it's so awesome 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 the sd card i got i'm super happy with i got a 128 gigabyte card it's the biggest card that I've ever gotten, and it's also super fast. Uh, and it's handling the 4K like a boss. So I have three batteries right now, and they go through pretty quickly. They're not bad, you know, they're quicker than Canon, just because, look, fuck, look how small this is. I could, I could eat it in a single bite. I'll probably get six, and then I have my two chargers, and then I'm good. So am I happy with this change? Very. I love the image quality. I think it's it's making me excited to be a filmmaker again, which it's not all about the cameras, but it's fun to shoot this. And I'm excited about, you know, everything that I was doing before, elevated and a little easier and quicker and nicer. So that is awesome. And that's what I want. So I'm gonna be doing like a full review of this camera. Uh, the more you guys bug me about it, the quicker and the better it will be. Uh, so keep at it. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching.